Okay. Well, I think I just started recording, so. It's okay. Let's see. Hi, Dr. Silverman. How are you, Kathleen, and everybody else? Hello. Hello. Uh, Joanne Shearer, hey, I see you there. Hi. Hey, Joanne, listen, uh, can you please call me maybe tomorrow after tomorrow? I have big plans for you for the month of April. <laughs> I, decided, I decided to go very aggressive on you. <laughs> Go, oh, girl. You you obviously know what I want from you, right? <laughs> okay, I think I just muted everyone. So, can you hear me? Okay, good. All right, let's see what time it is here. Okay, so we have about one more minute. And then Dr. Silverman, I guess you can unmute yourself, can't you? Are you able to do that? Okay, good. All right, well, we'll get started here in just about a minute. I've got 9.29. Um, so it's, uh, of course, I'm doing the, doing the training on the, the day that we moved our clocks ahead in some parts of the United States and it's, I'm all screwed up. But, uh, but I just had a wonderful, um, wonderful uh, visit with my in-laws. And you wanna talk about longevity. My father, my new father-in-law, because I just got married last Saturday, but my new father-in-law is 96 and his young bride is 94. So they, <laughs> they're obviously doing something right. So it was really an enjoyable weekend, but obviously it was a, a little stressful, but we had fun. Okay, so we are, we are at the bottom of the hour. It's 9.30. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Sean Poe can cut and, and cut out all the front end of that because I didn't know any other way to do this. Um, technology tends to be, um, I love technology. <laughs> I'm learning it. And um, I will get better at it as I go along. But for those of you that don't know, my name is Kathleen O'Brien. Um, I am a pro eight. I've been with Life Vantage now for, gosh, going uh, over seven and a half years. Uh, I signed up in July of 2010. And within my first 11 months in the business, I was able to ascend to the rank of pro seven and then 10 months later ascended to the rank of pro eight, which is, thank you, which is what I've enjoyed for the last few years. And, and it has been a true godsend for me. It's, it's uh, given me a, an awful lot of freedom. It's given me a lot of time freedom and it's given me tremendous financial freedom. Uh, I started out with uh, Life Vantage when I lived in Virginia. Uh, and it was not very good circumstances for those of, that you, of you that do know. Um, I literally started the business living in a duplex with an air mattress and a suitcase full of clothing. Um, and that's an, another long story, but let's just say that one of the big topics in the news today has to do with domestic violence. And uh, I am certainly uh, a professional on the receiving end of that. But anyway, long story short, I ended up finding my way to Indianapolis, where I found uh, a gentleman by the name of Jeffrey. And we married on our second year anniversary, last Saturday, March 3rd. And it's just been wonderful. And he has made a decision uh, to give up his psychology practice and come with me into the life vantage business. So we are making that slow transition over. And I'm, I'm excited about that. But I've been invited on this call tonight to talk about something uh, and one part of your business that's probably considered to be um, sort of one of the most important. I think all aspects of the business from learning how to invite all the way to learning how to close are, are all extremely important. Um, and I, I personally have found throughout my career in network marketing, of which I've been a, a member for about 30 years, 
I worked in a variety of other companies, um, and I've also worked on the corporate side at one time as a corporate trainer. Uh, and I think the bane of most people's businesses tends to be the one that we're going to cover tonight, and that's follow-up is how do you follow up? What does that look like? Why does that tend to be a challenge for a lot of people? And I will be the first one to admit that my training this tonight is, is kind of interesting because this is my, the weakest part of my personal business. So um, I'll share with you some of the very, very basic non-technology things that I have learned over the years that have kind of helped me to get going. But I think it's important, first of all, first of all, um, those of you that are new to the business, you should have your blueprint. Of course, it's showing backwards on here. Um, I love this new layout. But uh, the follow-up, the fortune truly is in the follow-up. And I have found very, very few people will, um, you know, they'll say yes, you know, the first time that you introduce the product to them, or perhaps if you introduce the business to them. So it's important that you kind of keep them in the loop as you're moving forward. So you're constantly funneling people into the loop, and then you're staying in touch with them in a variety of different ways. Um, but why? I want to talk a little bit about why follow-up tends to be difficult. Um, what is it about why people won't say yes right away? Um, I, because I was a business person and had been involved in network marketing for quite some time, for me, I saw the ABC video, which my sponsor, Pro9 Sherry Gillespie, definitely the right way um, but she showed me the ABC video and in less than five minutes I saw the potential but I I saw the medical side of it the the product side of it but my head exploded with the business I immediately saw what we could do with this and what we could how we could take this forward as a company um, I'm one of the rare birds I think that actually had that ability but it came from lots of previous experience about 21 22 years within the industry to be able to recognize it right away so, so I learned in one of my trainings many, many years ago in another company about the, sort of the psychology behind why people don't say yes. And as I'm sharing these six steps with you, I want you to be thinking about not only your business, but perhaps your children or even your spouse, because this is a natural chain of events and some people will it may take two years for them to get to the yes some people can say yes right away and some people will cycle through certain parts of this process within you know a couple of weeks so so what is the first part of it so as as an example i like to uh talk about my my granddaughter madison and uh two years ago i wanted to take her to chicago and we live here in Indiana, and I was telling her about going to Chicago. She was seven years old at the time. And immediately she said, Grandma, I don't wanna to go to Chicago. Now she pronounced it Chicago, it was very cute. She was like, Grandma, I don't wanna to go to Chicago. And because I understood this process, I knew not to push her. And we just kind of let it rest for a while so that she could process. So what did she do? Step number one is she gave me total rejection. She did not want to know any more about it. She was not interested in, in any way, shape, or form of leaving the comfort of her mom's home and going with grandma to this scary place called Chicago. So she went through total rejection, and I didn't push it. But I waited, and, and after a little period of time, we started talking about why. And eventually it came to partial rejection. And partial rejection is, you know, Grandma, you go out and you travel a lot, but I don't, and I'm scared. Now, how does that relate? How do these two relate into your business? Total rejection could be someone who just says, no, I am not interested. Thank you very much. Um, I do not want to participate in this business. I'm not interested in the product. I will tell you that as a uh, professional network marketer in Life Vantage, I've only ever had that happen to me one time where someone just totally shut me down. And it actually was a veterinarian. Um, I went to his office and I showed him the ABC video and I asked him, so sir, is there anything there that you liked? And he said, no, no. I was shocked because I very rarely hear that when I ask that question. And he 
he said, no, I'm not interested. And I said, that's fine. That, no worries. I'm not here to push water uphill. I'm not here to convince, cajole, or try to talk you into anything. Um, and we ended up talking about other things. And I packed up and I left. Um, so that was one time that I, I stopped at total rejection. Um, partial rejection is someone who might say, you know what, I need to study more. Um, and now how I get there is at the end of a presentation, for instance, when I show them the ABC video, I will always ask them, so tell me, what did you see that you liked about it? And they will start saying, well, you know, it had to do with whatever it was. You guys have all seen the ABC video. And as we work through that process and I give them the company story, at the very end of it, I always finish up every single presentation with a very simple one to 10. And I'll say to them, so tell me on a scale of one to 10, with one being, I'm not interested at all, and 10 being, you know what, where do I sign? How do I get this stuff? I wanna get involved in the business. And I'll say, but five not, is not an option. You're not allowed to be neutral. So you're either a one to a four or a six to a 10. Where do you fall on that scale? And they will tell me. So now they're moving slowly from partial rejection into partial acceptance. So once they tell me what their number is, I can then help move them forward in this process. For instance, going back to my granddaughter, Madison, she started out at total rejection. Partial rejection was, well, grandma, you get to travel all the time um, and I'm afraid, I don't wanna travel. Partial acceptance for her then became curiosity about Chicago. What's significant about Chicago? So we talked about Chicago pizza. So that we got her to level three. The next level is total acceptance. Okay. And that's where you now have found out where that person is on the scale. And all of this ties into follow-up. It's very important that you understand this because at each point, I am finding out where they are and what their need is. And I'm basically meeting them where they are. So if they say to me, well, I'm interested, I'd like to find out more about this product, or I want to find out more about the commission structure, I will guide them to the next piece in my package. It could be my professional website. I love the brochures. If you guys haven't had a chance to look at all the Life Vantage brochures out there, I really make good use of those. But I don't give anybody my tools until I get a follow-up appointment. So if someone tells me they're a seven or an eight on ProTandem or perhaps with a vitality stack, but they still can't come to a decision, I will give them some information. And then I will say to them, so if I give this to you, will you take a look at it? And they'll say, yes, of course. All right, well, that's great. How soon can you take a look at this? I'd love to be able to just to get back with you and answer any other questions you have. And it's as simple as that. Now, it's imperative that you guys have a planner, some type of, of calendar, so that you can start tracking, treating your business like it's a multi-million dollar operation. You know, when I was living with that air mattress and a suitcase, within 10 days, I was able to pay the rent, which was $850. I was able to put gas in the car, and I was able to um, turn on electricity finally. That, that was how desperate I was at the time. So I did it all though by being coordinated and organized. Now I personally, I wish I could get commissions on this. I've sold probably thousands of these to my team members and other people within the industry, but it's called PlannerPad. It's plannerpad.com. If you go there, it has a funneling system. I'll just go to the month of May, just as an example. But it has a funneling system where you can track all the calls that you have for that next week. So I will have like business calls, I will have product calls, I will have distributor calls, I will have preferred customer calls. Then you, pl you put all those in up here, then you funnel them down into the days. So these are your to-do lists of the people that you're gonna call, and then down here is your appointment. Okay, that's where you schedule those calls. So you, whatever the system is, you've got to have some type of a system. So you've gotten them to partial acceptance or maybe even total acceptance. And that's the next phase. That's the fourth level where they may say to you, you know what? I'm ready. I'd like to get started on the product. Okay. I have many people who as preferred customers might make that decision in the second or third meetup. 
where we've gotten together, they've had a chance to kind of look over the product or perhaps look at the science, and then they will make a decision to become a preferred customer. Um, the simplicity now that LifeVantage offers us is you can just send them your link where they can go ahead and place their order or because I tend to be a hands-on type person, I like to walk them through it personally because that tends to reinforce the relationship. Partial assimilation, all right? So we've gone through total rejection. We've gone through partial rejection. We've gone through partial acceptance. We've gone through total acceptance. And this is where they've made a decision to either become a distributor or they've made a decision to purchase the product. Partial assimilation is perhaps they're willing and able to come to a meeting with you that, that is where you can sense that there's a little bit more commitment there. Or maybe they're ready to get started. You know, they wanna go ahead and get started with the Vantage Pack and they're actually open to training. Some of you might be in partial assimilation right now. Maybe perhaps you've gotten your, your pack, but you're not quite there yet. You're still in the process of getting ready to get ready. What I want you to do is I want you to move into what we call total assimilation. And total assimilation is where you are pretty much doing what your sponsor is telling you to do right? They're telling you, get out your blueprint. You need to build your database. My gosh, the gold is in your database. You know, a minimum, a minimum of 20 people. Um, when I first got started, um, I didn't have a lot of tools available. I'm just going to show you something. I wish I could put it up here. I don't even know how to do it, but I made one up tonight, a copy, so you could see. This is very simple. All this is, is an Excel spreadsheet with the name and phone number, and then you'll notice 10 little blocks. That's it, just 10 little blocks, because what will start to happen is, let's say you meet with someone here, right? And I had codes, like I would have the ABC, I would write in the date, and I would write in ABC, and I would very quickly just write in what it was that they uh, accepted about it, what they were willing to do, what their number was, if they were a four or an eight. Um, and then I would immediately follow up because you always want to go from meeting to meeting. So for instance, they're an eight on the scale. They want to find out more about the commission structure. I might send them some, a link to my website where they can go in and look at the business, but I don't send it until I get a follow-up appointment. So in block number two, I would write the date for the next follow-up. So I always had this as a backup to my planner pad. I would three hole punch this, put it in a binder, and it went with me everywhere. I know it's very rudimentary for you, a lot of you probably young guys out there that are all into the technology, but this is how I built my business, one by one by one. So that was another thing that I did. I have another distributor. I have many distributors who do something as simple as this. This is just a spiral bound notebook. And what they will do is they will write the top, the name of the person that they just met with their phone number, and that person's page is just dedicated to them. And then they will fill up their spiral bound notebook with one name on each page. So now they have a follow-up system where they can take notes, like how many children does that person have? How old are the kids? What is their interest? When's their birthday maybe? Whatever you feel is important to that particular person. And you tie this in to your planner pad. So you've got those two systems going all the time. So total rejection, no, I'm not interested. Partial rejection, uh, I don't know. I might, take, I might need to study it more. Let me take a look at your website. Partial acceptance, you know, I've got a couple of questions. And I'll get on that Thursday night business call. You were mentioning that. I think I'd be interested in getting on that. Total acceptance, okay, I'll give the product a try. Or I'll get started on a platinum pack or, you know, whatever pack. Partial assimilation, it, that's when they start to, uh, they're coachable. They're open to getting ready to, you know, to, to, to build their business. Total assimilation is pretty much what you guys are doing tonight. You guys have taken the time on a Sunday night to get on this call, and they're gonna be very interested in building their businesses. So all of this ties into the follow-up process. Following up, honestly, if you can just maintain consistency, my personal challenge is I tend to be, I used to call myself the Tasmanian devil, because for me, 
going out and building my business was not a process of building business. For me, the process was making friends. It was building community. It's, it's getting to know someone at the local restaurant and going there consistently over time and always asking, asking to be seated at that person's, um, her station. Um, I'm working with someone like that right now. Um, buying shoes. I'll, I had a wonderful experience here in Indianapolis. I don't know how many of you were actually in Indianapolis, but um, uh, this place was blanketed with business cards. You guys absolutely overran this community with business cards. But how many of you have followed up? Okay. So I went to buy a pair of shoes and started chatting with the gentleman who I'd already had a relationship with. And before you know it, he pulled out a stack of business cards that thick from all of you. But he chose to go to lunch with me because I'd followed up with him. And he ended up becoming a distributor. So when you're out there, you can be the Tasmanian devil, but make sure that when you give them your information, that you are sure to follow up. Um, one other thing that I, I have going for me is Jeffrey's really wonderful. If we're out and about and I'm chatting with someone um, and they agree to meet with me or perhaps they want to take a look at something, he will immediately stand behind me and text an email to me, or I'm sorry, he will email me their name. He puts it in the subject line. So if you have someone that's working with you, have them help you. So when I got home, I could go down through my email list and I could see the names of all the people we had met that day. And it's not unusual for me to meet five or six new people. So it's just, a you guys are constantly surrounded by people. We, are, we live in a land of abundance. The whole point though now is just learning to follow up. I hope this has been of some assistance to you. Um, the whole process, the mental process of why people uh, total re totally reject and move into total assimilation is so important. By the way, my granddaughter did come with me to Chicago. She cried halfway there, and then she eventually settled in. We had a wonderful weekend in Chicago, and now she's constantly asking when we can go back to get sh Chicago pizza. So, so it can happen in your, in your personal life. It can happen in your business. And I know that this one special key, if you will just maintain a, a consistency and follow-up, even if it's only one or two a day, that thing will explode your business. So again, I want to thank everybody for taking the time and having a listen. What I'd like to do now is I want to transition over to the product side of our business. And we have Pro7, Dr. Silverman. She's a medical doctor, an immigrant from the USSR. She came over in 1990. She's a pediatric surgeon and she's a graduate from the University of Alberta. Um, with, at, you, uh, Alberta Medical School with a residency in surgical pathology. She's practiced breast pathology with an emphasis on cancer. She has a passion for health, disease prevention, and reduction of chronic inflammation. Um, she does this, and I love this. I just had a great conversation with a doctor the other day about the different ways we're doing business today. But via Whole Foods, happiness, exercise, and essential supplementation. She's a published author. She's a teacher. She's married, loves cooking. I want to come hang out with her. <laughs> this is great. And she loved, and I love this. Um, she said she loves learning and just loves and lives to love. So Dr. Silverman, I want to pass over to you and if you could share with us um, some interesting points about NERF-1. Thank you very much, Kathleen. And I've learned so much from you. It was unbelievable 25 minutes. Oh, thank you. But the most important thing is you building this business from a side of friendship. Mm. You develop friends on the way of building distributorship. It's amazing. I think that's one of my credos. So, uh, guys, thank you very much for having me on the call. You know, it's exciting for a physician to have the products with the health concept or medical concept that basically the future of medicine, and that's how it is. So um, I was doing a little bit of a touch-up on NRF1, and let me tell you, um, uh, with NRF2, as of now, we have almost 10,000 studies uh, starting in 1993 or 1994. 
beginning. On NRF1, we have 700 studies since 1989. And there is nothing more important in the cell, per se, than a mitochondria. So you do understand where am I going. Uh, it's incredible what we have our hands on. The interesting thing is it's very hard to talk NRF1 without NRF2 because both of them are absolutely tightly linked together. That is why you cannot take NRF1 per tandem and not to take NRF2 per tandem. And you basically cannot take NRF2 per tandem and not add an NRF1 per tandem. Now, what is NRF1? And what is NRF1 per tandem? So NRF1 is that protein complex that turns on mitochondrial genes. Now, there is a major theory of aging, which is linked to the decrease of the mitochondrial number and the decrease of mitochondrial function. And that's what we build in. So that's sort of normality to decrease the number of mitochondria with longevity. We can absolutely change the a level of mitochondrial dysfunction becoming healthy. That is absolutely on board. Now, why is it important to uh, um, upregulate NRF1? And let me tell you, from the studies that was done by Dr. Shavaro, our NRF1 pretandem uh, upregulates this NRF1 protein by percent. Now, NRF1 per tandem turns on mitochondrial genes. Mitochondrial genes turns on the signal to make mitochondria new and more functional mitochondria. So what does that mean? Mitochondria is your energy factory. This is your powerhouse. If you catch yourself that you're sluggish, you don't have enough, you know, um, you don't have enough stamina through the day. Uh, during lunchtime or after lunch, you need a nap. So your mitochondria is not giving you enough energy. So you need to boost your mitochondria. So how do you boost your mitochondria? A, you clean the old ones. How do you clean the old ones? How do you boost the old ones? By taking NRF2 per tandem. But then you need to make the new ones. How do you make the new ones? By taking NRF1 per tandem. So that is why, you know, to me, it is so important to take both. Uh, now, uh, let me tell you about the similarities between NRF1 per tandem and NRF2 per tandem. It's the synergy of ingredients. NRF2 per tandem is built on synergy, on synergy of five. And NRF1 per tandem is also built on synergy of five different ingredients, natural ingredients, but again, the similar concept, the synergy with low concentration. Um, oh, my telephone is buzzing and it breaks, breaks the train of thought. Um, now, the importance of boosting, uh, the importance of making the new mitochondria. Well, I told you, major chronic diseases like neurodegenerative disorders, like Parkinson's disease, like multiple sclerosis, like Alzheimer's disease, like autism, autism is directly linked to mitochondrial dysfunction. Well, I just read a paper which said that making new mitochondria Actually, those young and healthy mitochondria can go in the cells with all dysfunctional mitochondria and fix it. So how important it is. And the last point I'm going to make is, we are the only one company that has branded nutraceutical NRF1 activator. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. So my five minutes are up. Oh, Dr. Silverman, that, that was wonderful. I, I've got all kinds of little chicken scratch here. I, this is amazing. Um, the, the point that you made about upregulating NRF1 by 60%, 
I thought I think is just absolutely remarkable. I love uh, your the way you brought the science down to the basics, where you're cleaning the old mitochondria with NRF2 and you're making new ones with NRF1. That is probably one of the most important statements I've learned since coming back from Indianapolis. So I really want to thank you for that. Thank you for um, having me on the call. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, thank you. Thank you for taking the time. And uh, everyone, thank you. We want to be respectful of your time. I know we're moving into a new week. Uh, we want to challenge you uh, to make sure that you do make follow-up a very, very important component to your business. Don't be afraid of it. And, and don't take rejection personally. It has nothing to do with rejection and everything to do with the psychology of how someone moves through the process. It's very, very simple. Um, and of course, we're always talking about going from meeting to meeting. Uh, if you haven't yet, please make sure that you get yourself put together and signed up for Anaheim in July. Uh, very, very exciting times there. All you have to do is go to lifevantage.com and click on events and go take a look. So get your get your uh, get yourself scheduled to attend and get your hotel room set up. So with that, I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for taking the time and making the effort to invest in your future. And we'll be talking to you again. All right, guys, take care. Thank you so much. Take care. Maria Williams, love you. Yes, thank you, Maria. Bye-bye.